Now, one of the things we're going to speak about is the fact that mental prayer is not an intellectual exercise. Okay? It's an exercise of love. And anyone who is in a state of grace can do mental prayer. And as we're going to see, they should. And it's normal that they do. Um, so we're going to try to explain to you that it's not something strange. And it's not something just for priests and religious. Our Lady told all of us to do this mental prayer. In fact, mental prayer is vital, literally vital. Because, as I just said, it's an exercise of love, of charity. And it's charity that is the life of our soul in the way that this, our soul is the life of our body. Char divine charity is the life of our soul, the supernatural life of our soul. St. Paul says it, if I have not charity, I am nothing. St. John says the same thing, he who loves not remains in death. But if we love God, well, we're going to speak to him. We're going to listen to him. We're going to converse with him. St. Thomas Aquinas puts it very simply, con naturale est amico conversari cum amico. It is co-natural for a friend to speak to his friend. That's part of what being a friend is, is to speak to your friend. If you don't speak to him, well, you're not his friend. It's that simple. And as we're going to see, that's what mental prayer is. St. Teresa the Child Jesus says, prayer say, is to talk to God. And that is something that everyone in the state of grace should do. It's just natural. And that's what mental prayer is. St. Thomas says again, conversatio hominis ad deum est per contemplationem. The conversation of man with God is through contemplation or prayer. And contemplation is not something uh, impossible for normal people. It's co-natural for anyone who is in the state of grace.